Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch and on this drizzly 1st of April 2023 we're doing a quick video that we're very excited to do on this freshly arrived 2018 Autosleeper Carinium Duo. So Autosleeper are Britain's oldest motorhome manufacturer based out of the Cotswolds, a uh, beautiful village of Willersley. They've been going over 60 years. They build very well finished quite unique very high spec luxury motorhomes now the Carinium I think it came out in 2017 someone will correct me on that it might have been 18 it's there or thereabouts and it is their flagship motorhome on the Peugeot chassis very very expensive very high-end vans um, based on the Peugeot boxer but with an Alco chassis this is the first time Auto Sleeper used an Alco motorhome chassis so the chassis is a fully galvanized chassis from Alco in Germany and it's got torsion bar independent rear suspension rather than leaf springs so it handles better it's lower and it's got a better weight carrying capability yet it's lighter weight itself and being galvanized it will never ever rust so this is the cheapest and the best value Carinium in the country. So we always try and source stock uh, that's both better and better value than anything else. And I think we've done it with this one. So uh, it's not long been in, it's not been fully valeted. It's had a quick once over, but it's all in good up and together condition. So it's an auto sleeper Carinium Duo. They do a couple of models, the FB, which had the fixed side bed and the Duo, which is the more popular one, which is this one with the fixed single beds and then washrooms. So it's a lovely luxury van for two. It's a two berth, uh, it's a four berth, so front lounge will make a double bed. Um, but it's only got two seat bolts. But obviously, if you're going once a year with the grandkids, go somewhere local, have them delivered, or take a car as well. Now, these are big vans, uh, big luxury vans. So it is a 3850 chassis. You will need a C1 driving license. Now, if you pass your test before 1997, you'll have one of them. Um, unless you're over 70. When you're 70 you lose your C1 but you can apply to keep it by taking a medical questionnaire with your doctor and you can apply to get it back if you want to. If you pass your test after 1997 like myself you'll just have to take a, a fairly straightforward additional test and some theory work to, to, to get your C1. So Peugeot Boxer, 2 litre manual gearbox, all Peugeot's are manual. This will be the range topping 165 horsepower engine. Really quiet smooth engine, economical, lots of power. I only done 10,800 miles. She's 7.75 long. Width is 2.3 with the mirrors folded. 2.69 with the mirrors out. 2.3 with the mirrors folded. 2.9 tall, low profile, priced at 59995 Find another one of this Asian spec and mileage at this price. You won't. Uh, ours is the cheapest and the best. So, let's have a little look at it. It's looking great. All with smart Peugeot alloys. We've got the fully colour coded white Peugeot cab with LED running lights and the silver chrome style pack on the front there. We've got some mirror guard, mirror defender um, plastic cases over the top of the original mirrors. It's recently had in the last year or so four brand new Michelin Aguilis cross climate tyres. These are the most expensive but arguably the best motorhome tyres out there. Um, very, very good traction as you can see uh, for snow or um, muddy sort of campsites. Walking around the outside, so we've got twin sofa lounge to the front, fixed twin single beds to the rear, and a full width gorgeous end washroom. Uh, so on the outside, we've got a full length Dometic five meter awning, double glazed non-tinted windows, smart graphics with a sort of a colored, colored side. Electric step you don't really need because it's so low anyway, because the Elco chassis. Centrally locked habitation door with an awning light above and a drip stop and uh, <coughs> an extra Fiamma security lock that's been added there. Previous owner used this with a full awning, so it's got some um, sticky bits here where he put his draft skirt on. We'll take them off unless you're going to use it with a full awning as well. Uh, fridge vents for your very big three way fridge freezer. Flue there for your true gas and electric blown air heating uh, and hot water system. <coughs> We've got everything was standard on these, so it's got a large 25 kilo, 30 kilo underslung gas tank, and that powers, amongst other things, the fridge, heating system, water heater when you're not on the mains, and this barbecue point if you want to carry a barbecue. So there's no gas locker, so you haven't got a spare gas bottle, but massive underslung gas tank. External main sockets, if you hooked up to the mains, you can plug things in outside. Bedroom window there. And then coming around to the back, we do our little corner check. No damage there. We've got some really smart looking, as far as any coach built motor home is smart looking back end on it there. So it's been upgraded with an additional reversing camera. So it's got the factory fitted reversing camera and an additional one, which looks further back for when you're driving permanently live. 
we've got a massive back storage box. Now that can come off. If you don't want it, we can take it off and give it to you. We can take it off and dispose of it. Underneath that's a bike rack for bikes, uh, but there is a tow bar down there where you could, if you wanted to, um, uh, put a tow bar mounted bike rack on there. Um, previous owner uh, had a little MG sports car, a little two-seater sports car, lightweight thing, and he used to tow that with him on an A-frame, so you could do that as well. So it's got every bit of kit you could need on, on it already, this. Other corner's in great condition. I'm not going to fit through that gap there, so we'll have a, have a walk around to the other side of it. Yeah, we've never had a Carinian before, uh, I was quite excited to get this really, gentlemen um, changed it for a caravan because he was actually taking up a career as a site warden with the uh, with a campsite, so didn't need this for touring anymore, so he changed it for a caravan. So cab spec, it's got all the stuff you'd expect from a luxury motorhome really, so you've got the Remis lines on the side and the windscreen. Electric windows, central locking, electric mirrors. Um, LPG tank um, bit there for you, showing you how much uh, LPG is in your tank. Leather gear stick and steering wheel. Bluetooth DAB stereo system. Now we can replace that with an Apple CarPlay phone mirroring thing or a sat nav device if you want at cost price. But that will do a great job of stereo. It's Bluetooth DAB. You can plug into it as well, stream your music to it via Bluetooth or via cable. Cab air conditioning, cruise control, stability control, and um, hill descent control, twin airbags, all the bells and whistles you could want, and all in really, really good condition with swift twin swivel cab seats. Coming around the offside, we've got the fill up point for your gas tank. One of your fill up points for your fresh water tank. He's put a um, one where you can leave your hose on that. Main hook up there, you've got ledger battery and a large solar panel on the roof. There's also habitation air conditioning on the roof as well. External satellite point hooking up to an external TV point and um, underneath this one is the second water fill up point so if you want to get a whale sucker pump which plugs into there drop it into a aqua roll or a bucket of water it will suck water aboard if you don't want to move your van to the water. Um, underbed storage there and your tepic set toilet locker to the back there from being picky bits of your white sealant there it's non-setting sealant it sucks pollution and dirt out of the atmosphere um, so they're all going to look like that in furnace to it from about six months old but totally free of damp and uh, all in very very good condition so let's have a little look at the inside of the van now so we won the background it's a british van so it's got the habitation door on the on the uk side and it's a very very comfortable very luxurious British van. So we've got a nice little auto sleeper sign, lights up in the footwell, a bit of storage in the door and a nice window. So coming through to the inside here, these bits of tape where the previous owner instead of using the carpets just put runners down but they'll come up if you don't want them there. So we'll have a little pirouette around so you can see your beautiful front lounge. A really nice spacious kitchen, loads and loads of floor space. When you're not complicating things with seat belts you can have so much space and then a totally separate bedroom with two really good sized low single beds and then a massive bathroom with a big separate shower on the back that's really good so let's have a little look at it in some more detail now so we'll start the front end and work our way back so we've got a really nice two-tone cabinet work nice use of lighting with some up lighters and then some warmer spotlights underneath Big windows which flood the van with light, which we've all got concertina blinds and fly screens. Need to clean this, but it's not smoky or doggy. Uh, actually smells really nice, um, but we just gotta go through it and give it a more detailed valet. Twin sofa front lounge, simply pulls together to make a double bed, or pull them out a little bit to use single beds, but remember there's no seat belts, so you can only accommodate guests who come to see you. There's storage underneath both of these, because it's an Alco chassis, there's a flat floor front to back, so you're not gonna be tripping up and over anything so we've got quite deep storage bits above the cab either side and an opening panoramic roof light and previous owners put a fan there oh, that's freestanding that you can put that put that wherever you want for a bit of airflow now coming through to the kitchen really nicely finished these in furnace them so in the kitchen we've got some main sockets usb sockets we've got a nice deep sink good bit of workspace and uh, your oven three gas burners one electric separate grill separate um, oven good size storage drawers and cupboards beneath that 
There's a freestanding table that lives in there, so you can use that outside or in your lounging space. And there's a TV bracket here for TV number one. There's another one of them in the bedroom as well. Your awning winder handle lives inside the door. There's a couple of coat hooks up there as well, as well as your nice and simple sergeant control panel. This just predates the um, complicated multifunction touchscreen control panel, which is good. So this has just got a button for each job. Next to it is your, uh, your blown air heating controls. You can just set a power source, be it mains electric or gas, and set a temperature. Big fridge freezer. Runs on gas from your gas tank. Oh, that needs a clean. Uh, mains electric for the mains, or 12 volt when you're driving. Microwave above that. A bit of storage above that one. Above here is the Truma Aventa air conditioning system. Now this will be checked. If it's not working, it won't be replaced. So we don't replace aftermarket, even though I think that might have been factory fitted, but we don't replace aircon or satellite systems. Uh, I'm sure it works. They do tend to work and live a long life, but if it, it, we're not warranting it, basically. That's the same with all dealers and all aircon and satellite systems. Um, through to the bedroom area. Big, comfortable, low, single beds. The storage beneath. So underneath of that, you've got your carpets there. And underneath this side, you've got your heater and more storage there. And these will, I think, lift up. I don't know, they, well, they lift up for access, but they don't lift up for backrest. So I suppose they don't need to because you've got your big headrest. Nice storage for your clothes above. And then hers and hers wardrobes here at the end of each bed. Really, really big wardrobe on either side. Uh, so on the roof, so you've got terrestrial TV aerial, you've got habitation air conditioning, uh, you've got solar panel, and it's got a Wi-Fi system, which again, we don't check or guarantee the Wi-Fi system, but it's there, and we will uh, we'll leave it there. Yeah, all in nice condition here. Finally through to the big end washroom, some rear speakers there, and a big, hecky opening skylight above. And into the washroom, so we've got really big, separate shower space, with a light which has an extractor fan in there as well it's a really good size shower nice little freestanding basin with storage underneath perfect set toilet opening window and a higher level storage cupboard so faults wise not a lot it's missing the l off the auto sleeper at the front or the one of the letters off the auto sleeper badge um not sure what we can do about that we'll see if we can get one made or something or get one from auto sleeper but it's only a minor cosmetic uh, needs a good sort of detailed valet but it doesn't smell a dog doesn't smell a smoke it's just a little bit grubby but it'll clean up really really nice we like to be honest about these things if you see it before we've got a chance because we are easter time now it's peak season getting vans out the door so we struggle to spend like days and days getting the stock vans right but they will be um but yeah it's good plenty of sockets as well um condition wise it's fine in fairness to it spec wise it's amazing price wise it's spot on so it's cheaper than any other caridium i can find uh, of this age in the country and it's the better one it's not the fb it's the duo with the single bed which is the one that people want uh, and it's a lovely van i would like this i could quite happily live in this so if you're interested Give us a call 01626 832 792. If we're out here doing videos, either leave a message or call the mobile direct 07432 662558. That will get you through to myself or one of my sales team. Check us out on the hybridcaravans.co.uk website. Come and see us, Newton Abbott, Devon, Team Grace. We're just off the A38, which is the busiest road in South Devon, just between Exeter and Plymouth. We are literally on the dual carriageway. There's no country lane, there's no difficulty. We are so easy to get to. We've got Intercity Railway Station in Newton Abbott, goes to London and Glasgow. We've got Airport Exeter we can pick you up from. So we're not deepest, darkest Devon at all. We also have a Somerset branch. If you live nearer to them, you come see the van here. We'll send it to Somerset. You can pick it up from there. They're near Bristol Airport. So, Auto Sleeper Caridium 2018, um, give us a call today. Thank you very much.